This is technically episode number three of Roll Call Customs, and we're back. Today is more going to be of getting the lineup, the, our inventory. We're going to get a ton of campers and ton of trailers today. It's going to be, I mean, we're going to be doing truck stuff, right? But mainly, it's going to be more about campers and getting trailers in here because we're going to sell trailers. I mean, trucks and trailers, they just go like peanut butter and jelly. So we got to sell them both together. They're complements of each other, right? So what we're going to do is I'm thinking off-road park, put on hold for a second for this video i guess is what we'll do off-road park is on hold and then i leveled this out and i think this is going to be my like main trailer spot through here i love this all out nice okay oh that was not a good idea <sighs> trees are a little weird here um we'll have to work that back in but for now it's all flat it's all nice we kind of just have step down so like we got this level then we got this level it's probably going to flood one of our garage once it rains but anyways we don't get rain farms in so we don't have to worry about that but um I got trucks and stuff all over the place. Now I bought, okay, somebody, I, before I do these videos, I always try to read the comment section right before I record these. So all the comments are fresh in my mind. And somebody said to put in a huge, uh, shed for inventory. So that's what I'm going to do. I, this is just going to be all trucks in here. That's the goal. I'm probably gonna buy a semi too, just to fill it. Cause we need, we need stuff to fill it. So this is rolling cool customs. It's a custom truck shop, custom truck dealership. It's pretty much going to be custom. We're going to sell anything besides besides illegal stuff here. That's probably what it's going to turn into. We're just going to have like jet skis, eventually probably razors. I have a razor in here. I'll probably get to that today. So I'm going to start lining these trucks up and selling them. But first I need a power washer to wash these off before we put them away. And I don't know. I kind of want to line them up outside too. That'd be kind of cool. If we line them up outside and then also I got this picket fence. Let me know what you guys think of this. It's just this fence. I, it just kind of, you know, separates this. So it doesn't just look weird out in the middle. I kind of just put this here nicely, this fence. And then I also got this along the shed with these trees and then I got one up there. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think of it. Now my road, some dude was complaining about my white marker lines that I custom made through my lip road. Yeah, I know it needs work. And then also comment section some other dude was telling me i need to fix this so that's the goal for today <laughs> this is kind of bad i don't think customers are going to come up here i mean hey hey maybe we can leave this because the only thing thing that's going to get up here are pickup trucks little priuses aren't going to make it up this hill you know especially with a tree in the way only only fords will take out this tree you know so chevys and dodges they'll stay behind a little bit but no that's a joke okay we need to uh what we need to do is Start getting a power washer to clean up these. By the way, if you're enjoying the series, let me know. Hit that like button. Let me know. So I got to figure out. I want kind of like a nice, nice car wash bay here. That'd be sweet if we could do some type of car wash. But for now, I think our car wash is just going to be my little power washer outside right here. Like uh, the F-150 wheels. It's only like the wheels that usually get dirty on this stuff. So we got the F-150 XLT V8. Power stroke got the swan logo on the back as 15 horse to this puppy and we're gonna pull her up Right next to here now a lot of people have been like squad. You need some Dodge Cummins first gen and I think I'll add that in Um also some of the comment section a couple people were saying it's weird it, Some some people said guys, isn't it weird how this dude says Cummins? He always calls the truck Cummins and stuff I don't know a lot of one guy even was like it's so cringy how, how he calls him Cummins and I understand I kind of understand I see what you mean, but I guess a lot of people, the way I think of it is, I don't know, Cummins is like the legendary engine out of the truck, like, right, Dodge, okay, Dodge isn't known to be, make the best interiors, nowadays they might make the best interiors, but one of the things Dodge is known for in their trucks is a Cummins engine, and so since they have some crazy engine in it, I try to call it by its legendary engine name, Cummins, I could call it Dodge 3500, but that's kind of how I do it, like, you know, some Duramax fans will call their trucks Dirty Max or Duramax or D Max or whatever. They'll just be like, let me jump in the D Max. So hopefully you guys are okay with that. That's where I'm coming from. That's why I'm saying that. But I, I know, I know, I understand how it can be weird too. There we go. Perfect. F 150. Washed up real nice. Put her away. Actually, well, this is technically my daily truck. So I don't know what to do. I guess I don't know what to do with this. I'm excited to get the campers. The thing is, what am I going to haul the campers with back here? Probably take a couple trucks, a couple different trucks. Well, F-150 is going back in here. Oh, 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 there we go. 
Perfect. I got to put them on a diagonal. Now, this door back here, it's not going to work at all. I don't think... Do we have lights in here? We do not. Okay. But this door is not going to work. I mean, I guess I could make something. Nah, I don't want to make another entrance. Uh, we're just going to say this door does not exist. I could put a couple trees around it. We'll shut that door there. Ooh, actually, let me... Should we put... Uh, we could put... You know what we could do is we could put stone in here. That might not be a bad idea. Like, say we put... I guess we could put mud. Oh, you know what I need? On the, Okay, I said I wasn't going to work on this off-road park, but it wouldn't be bad. I want to fill some of this area just with some mud. It's not mud, but it's like a mud texture. It like it won't get your tracks muddy, unfortunately. You know, let's just say this is mud. Let me make this bigger, ton bigger. There we go. Like You hit a mud puddle after the park. That's one thing I did realize that I totally forgot about this park. There we go. We got mud across here. Also, when you have a lot of people watching the videos, you get some ideas out of it, which is really nice because when I work on something, you guys can help me with ideas. And one way to balance these logs, in case you guys didn't see the other episode, check this out. So this is the off-road park. You got your mud. You go around here. You loop around here, and then you hop on top of the shed. One way to get these logs centered, so what I try to do is place three trees down, cut all the stumps so this log stays in place. It doesn't slide around when I take my trucks over it. But another way to do it is um, here. I guess it's okay. Uh, <laughs> here we go. Okay, let me show you one thing. This guy had a really good idea, and I just want to say congratulations on the amazing idea because it was smart. I don't know if I'll use it, though, but I, I'm curious to see how this will work. Okay, I know I'm lifting up a truck right now. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. Okay, we need to. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Darn it. Actually, I don't know if this is going to work, but what his idea was is slide a truck underneath here. I'd probably have to cut these down. Slide a truck underneath here, and then the ratchet on the back of these, the straps, if you slide the truck underneath here, will lock these logs in place. And it'll keep them from moving. And you just keep the truck under here and then ratchet these straps down. So it's putting pressure on the roof right here and then putting pressure down here. And then you got your main ratchet right under here, your ratchet strap, just ratcheting it down. So it won't slide left or right, and it'll be locked in that's a really good idea but we're probably not going to use that because i got to cut down four of those trees for now so this is going to go back over in the junk pile i know i know i know it's a bad mod there we go perfect and actually while we're here let's get the mega cab here i i had a oh shoot darn it what no what no oh that was i didn't think that would happen darn it Oh my gosh, that could have gone any worse right there. I wasn't expecting that at all. Oh my gosh. The logs just shot out. Maybe we should have done that ratchet thing. Okay, the mega cab, we got to wash this thing off. And actually, maybe we can use the mega cab to haul the, haul the camper. That'd be good. Maybe I will use that. For now, I'll just put it away. Oh yeah. One thing, okay, one thing like Farm Center could have added, like we had this in FS17, right? But just something simple they could have added. Soap. How about we have soap? How about we have a towel where we dry off our tractor? You know, something simple like that. I mean, I think I'd rather have way better graphics and stuff than the soap and stuff. But they're looking for different ideas, man. They need to start asking the community a little more, I feel like. There we go. Perfect. Because right now it's just like, you know, exact same power washer from F17. And I shouldn't be complaining. You two, okay. Let's be honest, guys. YouTube creators find ways to complain about everything. And I totally will admit that. Like, we complain a lot. Just people, yeah. So for right now, Mega Cab's going in here. Um, I was going to put Dodge and Ford and Chevy on different ends, but there's only two real sides to this. So, we'll have to go next to each other. Perfect. We got that there. And... Then we'll go grab the Chevy. Now, I'm going to actually turn this truck into a camper real quick. Actually, yeah, because I can get a camper bed on this. This will be actually really sweet. So what I'll do is grab this log here, pick her up, drop her down in between here. Whoop. There we go. So that's how it's supposed to work. And it, it should stay. Okay. Hopefully this works. <laughs> we'll try to find our way over here. Okay, 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 
Oh, 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 oh. See, if, if I had that truck underneath there and it had it strapped down, it, oh, there we go. Oh, we kind of went and then we slipped off at the end, but that worked. I mean, we, we kind of got it through there. So, the Vortec is going to go get uh, the bed changed on it quick. I need to throw a camper bed on this is what we'll do. And then we're going to market this as a camping truck. Your weekend camping truck is what we'll do. So, um, actually, shoot. Hold on. Let me go around here. There is, okay, so there is something with a lift. There's a shop with a lift. It's just I haven't, I haven't found it or I haven't got it yet. Perfect. So we'll pull her in here and I am going to toss the camper on this truck or we'll reseller and I need to clean this up voila truck as it's camper on here um I cleaned up the tires a little bit it should be ready to go now okay one thing I was thinking about well first of all I was thinking about this house I don't thank you guys enough for watching these videos so seriously thank you for this this is one of my most liked episodes so thank you guys so much for liking it thank you so much for being just active in it and the discussion in the comment section thank you so much for that also one thing I was thinking is we have this little like kind of kind of cool statue for the dealership, right? It's Roll Cool Customs. We need some crazy stuff. I was thinking, what if we put something like that, but it's going to be the toy hauler and then I'll have a razor in the back of it. Or you know what? What I'm going to do is I'm going to get a skid loader trailer. Okay, we get this Chevy and we get a skid loader trailer, hook it up to a skid loader trailer and put a razor on the back and sell it as a package deal. How about that? I got to price it. I got to see what we're thinking, but we could sell this as a package deal and that'd be pretty sweet. Um, I could go pick it up right now, actually. Maybe I should. That'd be pretty cool if I could go pick it up right now. Uh, okay, I'm going to go do that real quick. We're going to go pick up. It's good. To, actually, let me buy it right now. I have a razor in here, which is it's going to be perfect. And I got to make like a little like nice like special ramp for it, though. Oh, Um, no, that won't work. Um, Sorry. I'm just running through ideas in my head. I probably should tell you guys what my ideas are. <laughs> but skid loader trailer. We'll buy this. Uh, oh, a couple different trailers I got. By the way, I got a new trailer. And this is public, actually. Uh, Prairie Bale trailer. So this will work really good. And I'm going to sell one of these. We're going to sell these. I'll have like three or four of them. I'll have three or four of the 40 foot. Three or four of these. Uh, we have a toy hauler yet that I can sell. So I'm going to have a ton of trailers also. Okay. So this will go as a package deal, but where do I put this at? Could I put it like, I don't know. I, I want to like, you know, make it stand out a little bit. Okay, we should probably drive on the right side of the road. We'll head up the hill and pick up this trailer. Okay, we're actually going to stop at the stop sign. Now, a ton of you guys hate first person. You guys just like hate when I do first person like this. I feel like it's so realistic, but market decides. You guys are the market you decide. So we'll do third. We'll stick with third person. Okay, we're going to pull in here. I got my skill alert. Now, I got to buy the razor yet, and we'll sell this as a package deal. Think about it. You can haul your razor. I mean, you or you could get toy hauler, but this is a cheaper version. This is literally a cheaper version of a toy hauler, right? You got your, like, living quarters, your little camper, and then you can also haul your toys. It's a little smaller version of a toy hauler and not expensive. Um, We need my razor now. This is going to be actually pretty sweet. Wherever, oh, I could sell. Ooh. Could I, could I do a package? I don't know if I could fit these. Actually, you know what? I may be able to fit. This is going to be tough. I'm going to see if I can fit these on here. We'll sell this as a package deal. This could be pretty sweet if I could fit them on here. Actually, we could do a Mahindra. This. Let me see what I can all do here, though. Where is the razor even? I was about to say, where is the razor even at? I realized I didn't even have it in the game. Went back and got it. Okay. It is by, made by Austin Farmer. And I think this guy releases like all of his mods. So... I can check in to see if it it should be released. I mean, I'm guessing it's close to being released. As far as designs, I want to go as close as original. An original could be white on this and maybe orange on the main color instead. Let me see what this looks like. Oh. Uh. Okay, that would be close. That would be pretty close to the main color. So the only thing is, it's got aftermarket wheels, which look kind of cool. If I go over here, it'll lag out the game and it lets me buy it with no wheels at all and it still moves. It's weird. So I'm going to keep it as this and it's really laggy if you do that other option too. So we'll keep it as this option. We should be good. The thing I want to do, fit this. Oh, okay. 
first of all, this is like way oversized, like as far as scale. It's almost bigger than uh, the Vortec, the Chevy. Uh, okay, I shouldn't say Vortec. Uh, Vortec's not too legendary. But anyways, um, the Chevy. What if I aren't? The goal is to put this Can-Am right in the front and then also put this Razor on the back. I don't know if that's possible, though. It does look like this trailer is... It looks like the, the Razor is a lot wider than the trailer, even. We'll see. I'm going to pull this through here. Oh, this is going to be tough. Okay, let me first at least load the, load, load the Razor on. See, We'll see what happens. Yeah, this is just... This thing's just humongous, dude. <laughs> If I sold it with a Mahindra, oh my gosh. Oh, dude, it's bigger than the truck. It's literally bigger than the truck. Let me fold up this. Oh, dude, it's just so... Okay, I don't think I'm going to sell that as a package deal. What we got to do is we're going we're gonna to get the Mahindra blacked out edition and then the Can-Am as a package deal. This will have to go in the toy hauler. Unfortunately, this is just like way oversized. I don't know what it is with it. Uh, thank you, Austin Farmer, for sending me it, though. We need, we'll go blacked out Mahindra. That way I can fit two of these on here. I could sell a Gator with it, but we'll go Mahindra. This will be our package deal. I don't know. 17,000. I don't know how much the Canium was. Canium, 5,000. Okay, so, I mean, they're kind of priced, right? Now, the thing is, is I got to place this, uh, this Canium. Should be able to place it. There we go. So I got this in the front, and now Mahindra. We should just be able to pull up here. There we go. This is kind of a quick vehicle, to be honest. Or could maybe could I do two ATVs? Oh, I think I could. Let's do two ATVs on here. Now, technically, what I want is I want to have ramps off the side of here. That'd be sweet. But well, this will be like the weekend package, you know. So I'll do another. Uh, and am there we go tuned okay it's six grand maybe i didn't get tuned a tuner on the other one so we will load this one up now okay now for the mahindra <laughs> this is gonna be okay it works there we go so we got two of those on we got the mahindra maybe i should just make the truck black and we call it like the black friday sale get it because everything's black besides the camper that'd be sweet that'd be sweet if we could black out the camper too but we can't it'll stay white i mean we could I guess the tires are black. That's good enough. So this baby is ready to go for the weekend. It's the the thing is, you're gonna have to have. Th okay, let me show off this ATV. But the thing is, you're gonna have to have three riders, right? Or maybe four, because you can put two in here, one here, one here. And are you gonna fit four people? In? I don't know what would be going on. That would be uh, that'd be a lot of people in there. I think. Well, I guess you could just be hauling ATVs and stuff for the other people. You could buy it for friends, and they could, you know, sleep outside in a tent like a real man, you know. So. What we're going to do is start going. This is the weekend package is what this will be. This will be perfect. <laughs> we're popping some wheelies actually with this. But you can tell there's a lot of weight on there actually. Okay. We're going to go down there. No first person. Cannot do first person. We cannot. And then we need to get those toy haulers yet too. I want to get those down there. We don't even have the trucks in the shed yet. Got a lot of work to do. We'll take a right here. Slow her down. Ooh, I'm sliding. This trailer's actually pushing me. <laughs> uh, we gotta take a left here. There we go. You can see those tires are lifting off the ground. Okay, speaking of, this is definitely related. The new 2020 Chevy Duramax 2500 got re revealed. And I saw a ton of YouTube videos. Where people are like, it's the ugliest truck ever. I honestly think it looks pretty good. Maybe I'm just, maybe I, I, I don't know. I think it looks pretty good, to be honest. It, it Especially from the side view. The front, eh. But the side view looked pretty sweet on it. Okay, this package deal, if you want to call it. Ooh, I basically, I mean, what I want to do is build another ramp, basically. So something like, something like this. Like, exactly, here, let me back this up quick. But something, let me back this up. I need to, oh, I hate how the tires just get so dirty so quick. But what I would love to do is build something like that. that that's part of the off-road park over there. But build it like right here. And I don't know if it would kind of take up too much space in the shop. Let me, let me do that. There we go. The package deal is done. The package deal is up here. But the thing is, my tires are all dirty on here and I got it up here. Uh, and it was really tough getting it up here. So 
I don't know. I, can I bring a power? Okay, I got to bring a power washer over here, which means I got to sell this one uh, because I really want this really clean. So, I mean, I guess I could just place power washers over here. You know what? Somebody needs a power washer. You can just pull around with like an ATV or something, something like that, or something you can just roll around. That'd be sweet, but I'm sure it's tough to do. We'll sell this one. And I do have one more over here that I put. There we go. We'll sell that one. And then I can buy another one. Go to power washer, miscellaneous. Power washer, and we'll put this one. Okay, for right now, I just gotta put it here just so I can reach the truck and stuff and not have to bag it down there. Even these wheels get dirty. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Oh, man, they take forever to clean. So, this is package deal. Now, what should I price it at? We have the Mahindra here, which is. It's not 17. It shouldn't be $17,000 new. I'm saying ATV. We'll say, okay, new price, brand new price. Nine, ten, huh? Ten. Okay, we'll say ten each. Twenty k plus. I'm saying the Mahindra. Fifteen. Okay, so I guess I guess we are at thirty five k right here, and then the trailer we'll say is thirty five, maybe four thirty five. Thirty five, I guess. So thirty eight and a half. Truck. I don't know why I should price this at. Truck, it's a 2016, it's used, it's got a camper on it. Well, the truck alone, I'm saying, is 40? Is that fair? I don't know, 20,000 miles, we'll say it's 40 grand or so. That is that fair? It's a Vortec, it's not the Duramax. So, if what, 40 plus 38, we're at $78,000. Huh. Okay, that's kind of a lot for this setup, now that I think of it. Well, $78,000, and, okay, what we'll do is we'll give them a special. We'll go... $77,000, $999, one dollar off. No, uh, we'll just go 70 even, $70,000 even. So like too bad I couldn't put like a price tag here. $70,000 even for the setup there. Okay, so these are like our two special trucks, I guess right now. Now, oh, I went with this like different stone stuff because I was like, you know, it'd be kind of cool if we had some like stone, like a solid rock stone because that's, you know, Chevy's built like a rock type of thing, right? Or is that Ford? Ford's built like a rock. Somebody's built like a rock. I forgot whose slogan that is. But what we're going to do is start moving this. Oh, we didn't get the campers yet. I totally forgot about that. And we haven't even started moving the trucks in. Okay. <laughs> um, what should we haul it with? Ooh, what should we haul it with? It? Can't haul it with a Chevy. Ooh, we could use the 6x6. Six six. I don't know. Campers are F350. I need something. We could use the Mega Cab. Mega Cab would be a good truck. Or the Cummins, we'll use the Mega Cab. We haven't used the Mega Cab much, we'll use the Mega Cab to haul it. Haul the, a couple of campers. We need we need more than a couple campers actually back down here. Oh, wrong one. So we're here with the Mega Cab now. I bought two toy haulers. And these things are by no means finished at all. They're not that nice looking right now. They're usable and stuff. Thank you, Lamb Mods, for making these. But, you know, they got a ways to go. So. We got a lot of work to do on them. Hopefully we can get some cooler ones in here. Or just, you know, oh shoot, I did not mean to do that. Better designed ones in here. And I was using my controller there. I didn't know what button did what. So I'm gonna hook up to this. Connect to where we on her. Back up a little more. Right, right there. There we go, we're can oh shoot. Is this not gonna work? Oh, I can feel it like hitting when I turn. Okay, this this mega cab was I don't know if this was meant to all of this. Oh my gosh. Okay. We'll do put the ramps down. Load up the razor. Now I know the razor fits in here. It just barely fits in the back of here. Toy hauler. We got all this room and then we got like kind of a kitchen. I know it's not done, but this is kind of our storage room, I guess, for the toys. The lights on these are insane. I don't know how they got the light bar working so good. I thought lights were tough enough as an to do. So, we'll load up the razor. Oh, baby. Oh, it, I know it fits. It should fit in here. I mean, we used it in yesterday's video. There we go. Razor's in here. Oh, shoot. You know what? We got to turn off all these lights. There we go. Lights are off. Mega Cap is... She's squat. Oh, it was... She was squatting a little bit. There we go. We'll haul her back. Now, I don't know what... Oh, yeah, we are squatting. I don't know what else I'm going to use to haul the other one, though. Um, also, some people did say they want traffic on. I apologize I did this at the end of the video, but I will turn traffic on. 
That's important. Oh, it is on. That's right. The front wheels are spinning right now. We're pulling. They're just spinning. Okay, I'm go. Oh, dude. I don't know if the Kelvins can pull her. We have a lot of weight on the back, actually. Can't steer. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, shoot. We're all over the road. We got too much weight on the back of here or something. I'm going to take a right-hand turn here. Hopefully, we can get traction at least. There we go. We're good. Now, we'll pull through here. Take a left-hand turn. And we're not even far from the shop at all. At all, by any means. There we go. I need to get rid of these white lines in the street also. I don't know. It was only one person that commented about them, too. What do you guys think? Should I keep them? Should I get rid of them? They do kind of look a little ugly. So there's our $70,000 there. I don't know. Camper, camping setup right there. What we got them for sale. So over here is going to be the camper shed. This is going to be kind of my, like, you know, I take people in here. This is going to be the showroom, I guess. Showroom is a good term, way to put it. I'm going to back her in. See what happens. Wait. It should be able to fit through here. Okay, it does fit through here. I think I can only fit like two campers max in here though. That's the thing. I hope I can. Oh, oh. Are we? I think we're scraping the roof right now. There we go. Just detached. So I got one camper in there. Yeah, I can only fit two campers. So that means I can only fit one more yet in here. Oh, what? I thought I could definitely fit a couple more. So this will be our showroom. We'll just have two toy haulers in here basically. Maybe. I don't know. I think two toy haulers for this showroom is what we'll do. And I still have to get a ton of trailers. We have a couple of trailers right here, but I'm going to get a ton of trailers and just line them all back here. And this will be like our trailer uh, our trailer lot. That's the plan for the videos. This is going to be the end. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it. I know you guys have been enjoying these videos a ton. So thank you so much for watching it. I do appreciate it. And I will see you guys later. Hopefully, you guys have a fantastic weekend. Have a fantastic day. Have a fantastic year. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching.